Hello guys, um, it's B here again with Neo, if you're not looking very impressed. Um, I'm going to do a quick video on uh, tipping his feathers, um, just to taking these ugly ends off, um, so we just go all over. Um, I'm not going to do any sort of shaping haircut, I just want to take some ugly ends off. I'm going to be using for this... Um, Kamisori seven and a half inch thinners, uh, which I got from Canada. Uh, they are probably my most favourite scissors um, for trimming um, all the feather rings on setters. So we're going to take a little bit off his ears. His ears are very fine, but they do grow very long quite quickly. Um, and um, usually the length I want, if a dog has a head properly up, up to the point of shoulder, which they are about right there, but we'll just take a little bit off. And so that I've got both ears the same, I will take his ears under his chin together. They've been combed through. And I will just, right, don't spin please. Near. Come on. One ear is quite considerably longer than the other, so I'm just going to level them off. Stay. Right. Now they're the same. He's got very fine hair in his ears. There's really not a lot there, so. Right, now we do his full chest for that, the uh, best if he stands. Come on up. And um, I tend to do from one side and the other side. And then we'll check from the front that we've got sort of level, so you can see one side. They should be standing in, into their front as well as possible, which is terrible on the table. So I'll just have to... If I'll just hold his head, and then really the longest point here, if you lift his leg up, you'll see how much hair he's got back there, and that should lead into a triangle nicely, with the deepest point probably up to about the 10 markings where they got to, just around their wrist. Um, but we've got to take some of the length off because he's grabbing bits back here, and uh, this is a bit too long, so. Just to help it, we'll trim it. Right, now, come stand up nicely. Come on. Right, level up. Both feet should be level, ideally. I'm going to hold his hair up. And I'm going to cut on the angle all the see-through ends. Stay. Hold their chin. And I will go, stay. So to make myself a stay, mark on one side. And then on the other side. It's a little bit awkward. Stay. Stay. Then I'll check from the front. That I've got at the both front legs roughly the same length. On this side is a bit longer, so we'll trip a little bit more there. Down there between the legs, that nothing is too ugly sticking out. So that will do for now. Now we'll do his sides. And when he, if he was to be stacked correctly, obviously the shoulder is not stripped out, or the elbow. He's lost a lot of feathers. He hasn't got very much in there, so I'm just going to 
don't know where it's gone. Right, now we're going to come here, stop spinning around. Now I'm just going to trim this side on this skirt. So he's rubbing in these bits, and but the bottom layer that comes from right from the bottom is quite a lot longer. So I'll take a fair amount of there while we wait for the sides to catch up because there's a lot more length needs to come here than I need here, so I can take some of this off and when I lift his leg I can see where I will scissor in his chest and I'll just continue from there but you don't want to cut it in a straight line you should go up towards the line and stop fidgeting please no no, no don't be naughty I'm only holding your leg I'm not doing nothing bad with it stop We'll just work on where it stay. Right. Can you not be a pain? Neo, come on. Right. Stand this way. Stay. And by taking these the end off because the hair gets a bit lighter he bounces back up when well, we shorten it so and it gives an impression of slightly fuller look I don't like see through feathers but I don't want to take off too much just enough to keep the ends healthy and that will do for now now I'm not sure I'm just going to very gently tip there and lift his leg up. Stay, stay. That's all has got to go in, grabbing. So, ah, stay. I'm just taking the tips off to encourage the hair to grow. Just like with human hair, you get split ends and ugly ends when you just letting the hair grow long and that's not always very good uh, so it needs regular scissoring off the tips come here um, and then we want to take off a little bit that's got to grow in uh, but you see how ugly the ends are there on his legs you can see the see-through bits so we'll just take a little bit off there along growing a bit. Right, we do the hock separately. Uh, we've done the tail in the past, so I'm just going to do the other side, uh, just the same way as I did this one. So thanks guys for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and don't be scared taking the ugly tips off. Alright, thanks a lot.